Yes, Danny, I totally understand. Very, very frustrating to do that. Uh, before we go on, let me, I need to share with you that um, I'm recording this call via video, but no one can hear your voice and, and your last name. But I'm just doing it to kind of show people uh, how I work with them privately uh, via Skype uh, or, or phone in this case. So you're good with that? Great. All right, so if I repeat stuff back, it's just because they can't hear you. Right. All right, so you found a food franchise over on the FranchiseDirect.com website. Good. Uh, but it's new. All right. All right. So the, your question to me is, uh, how do you research a brand new franchise that only has one, one franchisee? It's, it's a great question. Uh, I don't have um, an answer that is going to really change that much for you, but I'll do the best I can. Uh, you know, I, I can't uh, produce, uh, produce franchisees for you on the spot that you can talk to. I mean, it, it's impossible. So here, here, here's my best advice. Oh, Jill. Hey, how you doing, Jill? Yeah, Danny said you might join the call. Good. All right. So you're, you're both frustrated because you're, you really like this food concept, right? It's, it's a Middle East food concept, brand new. They have one franchisee in Pennsylvania. You guys live where? Pennsylvania. All right. Well, that's good. At least you're looking at uh, a new franchise concept that has a franchise business location already in your state. Ah, but they're not even open yet. All right. All right. Well, double conundrum, as, as we would say. All right. So the first thing you can do is, is make a commitment to spend a lot of time with the franchisor in person. Where is uh, where's, where's franchise headquarters? Tampa. All right. You're going to have to spend a little money. I, I want you to spend a week or so at headquarters getting to know uh, uh, the gentleman that started the franchise, the CEO. Uh, do they have any other people in place there? All right, so they have a technical person that's doing the com computer systems. They have a franchise development person, a salesperson. All right, good. All right, so there's three people and obviously the office coordinator. All right, you got to spend a week down there. You really have to get to know them. Um, you need to ask them some intelligent questions and you also need to really, really trust your gut uh, and, and decide whether or not you believe that the concept is something real. But more importantly, do you believe that this, this person or this team is going to really, really support you? Because the early franchisees really need to have great support because they, I mean, more than anyone, early franchisees, the first franchisee, the second and third franchisee of any, any franchise concept need to win. They need to be successful or the franchisor will not be able to sell more franchises. So in a way, it's, it's a good time to get in. Uh, that's the positive. The, the negative is obviously you don't have a lot of people to talk with about the concept and, and about uh, the customers if they like it. All right, well, all right, they have a company store, so that's good. So spend some time in, in their restaurant uh, and, and see if you can get a feel. There's a couple other things you could do. You could uh, use Google Trends, uh, just, just Google Trends, uh, when you put it in the search box in Google, it'll come up and there'll be a little search bar where you can punch in something like uh, a Middle Eastern cuisine in the U.S., Middle Eastern restaurants, Middle Eastern restaurant franchises, Middle Eastern food franchises. See if there's any trends. See see if the, the uh, Internet community is talking about that, that, that concept of, of Middle Eastern food. You can also go to a, a huge website that specializes in trends. Small Business Trends, which is smallbiztrends.com. I wrote for them for many years. Anita really has a, has a good team of writers. And you might find some, some interesting information. Just, uh, you know, use the search bar on Small Biz Trends and, and do the same kind of searches. You know, Middle Eastern foods, Middle Eastern food franchises, et cetera. See if there's people talking about it anyway. Uh, and, and see, I, I, it might be frustrating to see if you can spend a little bit of time with this new franchisee who I realize is not even open yet and is in the throes of, what do I do now? Uh, it's a good way to watch the franchisor in action to see how the franchisor and this new franchisee interact. Other than that, you're really, really going to have to trust your gut and, and uh, you know, maybe talk to your local chamber. Get a feel from them if they think a Middle Eastern food concept will make it. Because food franchises, 
actually restaurants of any type, whether they're franchise or independent, really uh, can turn over quickly. They kind of come and go. I'm sure you've seen it in your community where a restaurant opens up and then four months later, it's like closed. So while the individual research is really tough because there aren't really any franchisees that are in business to talk, talk with yet, uh, the data part should be um, fairly easy to gather because um, I gave you a couple, a couple ways to do it. Uh, and you really have to trust your gut. So I, I hope I helped you, you both. And, uh, you know, let's make sure that you schedule another private consultation once you know more. We'll spend an hour together uh, and, and really, really dig in. Uh, I'll help you the best I can. All right. All right. Well, thank you for calling. And we will talk soon. All right. Bye. I am the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. And... And it's really, really difficult and challenging to research franchise opportunities where there really are not any franchisees yet or where there's a low number of, of franchisees. So um, I hope to write about this topic in the near future, but hopefully you have a, you know, a couple ideas that you heard from this, from this live phone call. Once again, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. And if you are looking at any type of franchise opportunity, before you sign anything, before you send in a check to the franchisor, schedule a private consultation with me. Let's make sure you haven't missed anything in your research. Thanks for watching.